So let's figure out which of these fractions are greater. We have one and one half, and then we have one and five eighths. So how do you tell which fraction's larger? So first off, since both of them have one in front, we can kind of just forget about that. That's the same. So let's ignore that. Focus on the one half and the five eighth here. So if we had a common denominator, this denominator down here, if this number were the same, we could just compare these numerators and we'd know which is greater, one half or five eighths. And with that, we know whether one and one half is greater or less than or equal to one and five eighths. So let's multiply two times four because that would give us eight. We already have eight down here. So let's just bring this over five eighths. Since we multiplied the denominator by four, we do also need to multiply the numerator by four. Since four over four is one, multiplying by one doesn't change anything. But now we have one times four is four. Four eighths, that's the same thing as one half. They're equivalent fractions but we can make our comparison here. And since we have the same denominator, five is greater than four, five eighths is greater than four eighths. And we can say one in five eighths is greater than one in four eighths or one in one half, since those are equivalent. Not a lot bigger, right? Five minus four is one, so only one eighth larger, but it's still larger. So answer to our question, one in five eighths, that is larger than one in one half by just one eighth. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.